case against former Samburu governor Moses Lenol Kulal. The case in which the former governor, alongside nine others, is charged with in an 80.7 million shilling scandal, will instead proceed to full hearing. Seth Olale reports that the DPP's latest move happened hours after the Law Society of Kenya gave a three-day ultimatum for review of the withdrawal of graft cases facing high-profile suspects who could end up serving the current administration. The Director of Public Prosecutions has changed his mind. He has withdrawn an application that sought to terminate a graft case against former Samburu Governor Moses Lenol Kulal. Instead, the case in which the former governor, alongside nine others, is charged with a 8.7 million shilling scandal will proceed to full hearing. The profile of the suspects invites significant public interest as to the motive of the discontinuation of the cases and further poses serious credibility concerns in the investigative capacity of our institutions. On Wednesday this week, Senior Assistant Director of Public Prosecutions Alexander Muteti told the Anti-Corruption Court that, after consultation, the DPP wished to withdraw the case against the former Samburu governor. The prosecution cited a letter from the county government that stated that there were no procurement breaches. Trial Magistrate Thomas Nzioki declined to grant the withdrawal and instead directed the prosecution to file a formal application and provide the court with a consent letter from the parties including the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. The DPP shall have regard to public interest, the interest of the administration of justice and prevent and avoid abuse of the legal process. The DPP has been under pressure for withdrawing cases against high profile individuals, some of who have been shortlisted for cabinet secretary and principal secretary positions. The DPP withdrew draft cases facing cabinet secretary nominees Aisha Jumwa and former Samburu governor Moses Lenol Kulal, who is on the shortlist for principal secretary applicants. Charges against former Kenya Power Managing Director Ben Chumo were also dropped by the DPP. Chumo was arrested on 14th of July 2018 and arraigned alongside nine other senior officials on grounds that, under his watch, Kenya Power had procured faulty transformers worth 400 million shillings. Was it a political decision or was it a decision that was best on the evidence that was placed before him at that particular time. LSK asking the ODPP to task the investigating agencies with seeking fresh evidence and reintroducing the graft cases in court instead of withdrawing them. Seth Olale, Citizen TV.